Eleven shoes and six bags may not be minimal enough to some people, but I think they serve me very well. Today, I'll be sharing all my shoes and bags as well as my favorites in the collection. If you're interested in anything mentioned in the video, check the description box below. I replaced my old running shoes with this pair of New Balance 880 last year, and I have been loving them. The sole is very thick without being heavy, and they're extremely comfortable since day one. It's a great pair of shoes for long distance running and everyday workouts in the gym. I have two pairs of white canvas shoes because I just love the style for everyday wear. My current favorites are these Feiyue sneakers that my dad brought back for me from China. Feiyue sneakers originated back in the 1930s and were worn by martial artists, but in the recent years, they are having a comeback. They are extremely comfortable while being a fraction of the price to their counterparts. And also, I just think they're really cool because they have so much history to them. These Lacoste sneakers are probably five times more expensive, but they're really nothing out of the ordinary. They're thinner and more lightweight, but for some reason, they get dirty very easily. It's still a good pair of canvas sneakers, and I wear the two pairs interchangeably. Last year, I had to go to a lot of interviews, so I needed a pair of shoes that looked more put together, and I ended up with these ones from Steve Madden. Unfortunately, they are leather, but I'm hoping that I will be able to wear them for a decade. I do like the look of the pointed toes, and I think they can elevate any casual outfit. I also got these heel cushions from Amazon, which make a world of a difference. Otherwise, it will feel like a knife is cutting into the back of my heels. But if you're getting these heel cushions, make sure you size up with your flats or heels. I got these sandals last year, and I absolutely love them. They are on the slimmer side, which fits my feet very well. These sandals are very simple and understated, but I just feel very elegant whenever I wear them. And best of all, they are also vegan. The only downside is that they're quite loud when you walk in them, so it's not the best choice for indoor shoes. But if you're going for a walk outside or going to a festival, they will be great because they're very comfortable to walk in as there's plenty of cushion in the sole. I got these Birkenstocks many years ago, and I thought they were going to be really comfortable, but unfortunately, they're not. I know some people swear by them, but they're just not a good fit for me. The sole is really stiff, and the leather straps are also kind of stiff, which can hurt the top of my feet when I walk in them for a long time. So I'm really considering selling them. I had these berries for over five years, and they're still in pretty good condition. I love to wear them in the summertime because it's easy to slide on and off, and they're also very breathable. They have a casual look to them without being sloppy, so it's also appropriate to wear them in the office. But one thing about the Sperry's is that it takes a couple of weeks to break into them. So the first two weeks are going to be torture. I have these red heels that I got for my convocation seven years ago. I've worn them for maybe less than 10 times in total. And they're reserved for company Christmas parties and any time that I need to dress up, which is never. The heels are not very high, which makes them fairly walkable. And next are my winter shoes. These hiking boots are pretty cool because they are very lightweight. Usually hiking boots are on the heavier side, but these are not because they use Gore-Tex to make it waterproof. And also I think they're possibly leather free. I've had these blunt stones for over five years as well, and they're still holding up quite well. The only place that is showing signs of wear is near the elastic bands. But unless you're looking at it from very close up, it's not that noticeable. I take care of them with waterproof gels, lotions, and sprays every year to protect the leather from water and salt damage. These snow boots by Sorel have also been with me for over 5 years. They're waterproof and are reserved for days that are extremely cold and wet. These shoes can protect me from all the elements, but they are probably not anti-slip. The soles of these shoes are not as thick as they look which can cause some discomfort when walking on rough surfaces. I would recommend Sorel, but there are probably better styles out there. This white crossbody is from Rebecca Minkoff, and is my first and only designer bag. I got it when I first graduated from university, and I remember how much I loved it. I still like it very much, and still use it a lot when I go out. I was worried about the white color might get dirty very easily, but after 7 years, it's still very clean. 
I condition it with leather lotion every year, and till this day, there is no scuffs or any signs of wear on this bag. This bag is pretty small, but big enough to bring all my essentials, like my phone, my card holder, a reusable bag, and even a Kindle. I got this Matanet backpack last year, and it's probably my favorite bag at the moment. I've had it for 8 months now, and it's still in pretty good condition. It's big enough to bring my 13-inch laptop if I'm going to the office, but at the same time, it's not very big, and it doesn't feel heavy or look overwhelming on my frame. I love the simple, modern, and polished look of this bag, and it's definitely the best looking backpack I have ever had. I bought a Matanet bag to replace this auto backpack, but I decided to keep it around because it's still in pretty good condition, and it's also very spacious. I don't have to be very careful with it, and it will save my nicer bags from being in rough situations. This tote bag is actually reversible. I like to have the stitching to be on the inside because it just looks cleaner and it also makes the bag smaller. I can actually fit my entire life in here, but I actually don't use it very often because I don't like to bring too much with me when I go out. But I imagine it will make a very good gym bag or you can bring it to a picnic or even traveling. And lastly, I have these two travel backpacks, one from Patagonia and one from Nordis. They're very similar in functionality. The Nordis has more organization features and is more spacious, whereas the quality of construction of the Patagonia bag is just unrivaled. I have a separate video on each of these bags, so you can check them out if you're interested. And that is my entire shoe and bag collection. Let me know which one you like the most, and also what is your favorite shoe or bag in your collection. Thank you to SailAway285 for requesting this video. If you have a video request, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.